All right, the next question is, how do I grow lats? Really wide, big lats. Um, I think uh, I think most people can. I think uh, I didn't have like a huge back um, years ago. It was just something I knew when looking at my competitors, um, particularly David Henry, because he and I have been flip flopping for fifteen years now, and um, his most standout body part is his back. And if you don't have something even remotely close to that, you're in big trouble when you turn around with that guy. So I started putting more attention to it. Um, earlier on in my career, I did a lot of, uh, you know, deadlifts, push presses, power cleans, because I was, uh, I, I played football in high school and college, and those were the movements. They weren't real isolation movements to build big meaty lats, rather just building strong explosive lats. So it wasn't until I decided I wanted to do something, you know, in the future with bodybuilding, that I started incorporating more one arm dumbbell rows, bent over rows, machine work, a lot of pause reps, a lot of squeezing. Anyone that trains with me, my, my clients know that I use a lot of pause reps, particularly with the back, because um, it's very easy to just use your biceps and your rear delts when you're doing pulls. But to pull in the proper form and to squeeze those lats, it's a lot better to do some pause reps. And that's how I teach people to actually feel the muscle and get connected with the lats. So. So I started incorporating pause reps in all my lat work, um, and it really helped. It really brought out a lot more detail, a lot more thickness. Um, so that, that's the best advice I could say is make the connection with the muscle. When you're feeling, when you're flexing it, you should feel that muscle. Uh, something else I do that's a good tip is when the muscle's sore, I practice flexing it. Like today my lats are sore. I trained with Dana Lynn Bailey the other day. She kicked my ass. But now I'm sore and I can do the motion of a one-arm row and actually feel top to bottom all the way through the lat muscle. So it's, it's, everyone can do a bicep and flex their bicep. But can you flex your lat? You know, that's one thing you need to learn and how to uh, practice flexing your lats and then incorporate some heavy weights while you're flexing your lat. You're not just moving weight. Um, I think pull-ups, if you can do them, are a huge um, exercise, particularly when you can get good at them. You know, for me, I would rather do six to eight pause reps, pull up as high as I can, hold it and squeeze. One, two, down. Full stretch, up, one, two, down. Other than these like, kip-ups that the, 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 the CrossFit guys do. Um, those, they're not growing lats doing those. You have to squeeze and, and be in connection with the muscle. Um, I also think deadlifts are key. Even though there's less of that range of motion with the elbows, there's still a lot of lat and overall back, trap, mid-back, lower back involvement. So if you want to build a full, complete back, I think deadlifts are huge. Uh, whether it be from the floor or from the rack, pick some heavy weight up, move it. Um, so those are, those are my, uh, the best tips I can give you for that. I'm, um, you know, I've, I've done pretty well with developing my back through the years, bringing it from, uh, it wasn't my weakest body part, but it wasn't a strength to today, I believe it's one of my strongest body parts. So, uh, good luck. All right, this is the Boston Mass. Thanks again for watching. Now, if you're not subscribing, subscribe now. Tell all your friends to subscribe. If you haven't, do it now. All right?
Thanks.